Welcome to another practice question video. At the end of the video, sign up for free daily practice questions and free bonus nursing printables. Now let's begin. Starting with question 1. Nurse Jessica enters a room and finds a client lying on the floor. Which of the following actions should the nurse perform first? Call for help to get the client back in bed. Establish whether the client is responsive. Assist the client back to bed. Ask the client what happened. The correct answer is establish whether the client is responsive. Assess the client's current level of consciousness first to determine whether the patient has had a loss of consciousness then do the remaining choices if possible. The initial step, Amanda is a nurse preceptor who is working with a new nurse, Melissa. She notes that Melissa is reluctant to delegate tasks to members of the care team. Amanda recognizes that this reluctance is most likely due to role modeling behaviors of the preceptor. The philosophy of the new nurse's school of nursing. The orientation provided to the new nurse. Lack of trust in the members of the healthcare team. The correct answer is lack of trust in the members of the healthcare team. Lack of trust is the common reason for reluctance in a delegation of tasks. Some managers don't delegate because they feel they can work better than others. Since ultimate responsibility is of the delegator, they prefer doing the work themselves rather than getting it done through others. Nurse Mike is developing a care plan for a client after bariatric surgery for morbid obesity. The nurse should include which of the following on the care plan as the priority complication to prevent? Pain. Wound infection. Depression. Thrombophlebitis. The correct answer is Wound infection. Wound infection is the most common complication among obese clients who had undergone surgery. This is due to their poor blood supply in their adipose tissues. From a surgical standpoint, obesity is associated with a multitude of complications including impairments of cutaneous wound healing, total wound failure, and facial dehiscence. A client presents to the emergency room with dyspnea, chest pain, and syncope. The nurse assesses the client and notes that the following assessment cues, pale, diaphoretic, blood pressure of 90-60, respirations of 33. The client is also anxious and fearing death. Which action should the nurse take first? Administer pain medications. Administer four fluids. Administer dopamine. Administer oxygen via nasal cannula. The correct answer is Administer oxygen via nasal cannula. The promotion of adequate oxygenation is the most vital to life and therefore should be given the highest priority by the nurse. When the nurse needs to prioritize patients, Maslow's hierarchy of needs theory is used to decide which patient is to be seen first. A part of Maslow's hierarchy of needs is airway, breathing, and circulation, which are physiological elements that are needed for the body to survive and help determine one's level of health. Nurse Sally receives an 11-month-old child with a fracture of the left femur on the pediatric unit. Which action is important for the nurse to take first? Call for a social worker to meet with the family. Check the child's blood pressure, pulse, respiration, and temperature. Administer pain medications. Speak with the parents about how the fracture occurred. The correct answer is Speak with the parents about how the fracture occurred. In case of injury, especially among children, it is very important that the nurse should first assess possible abuse. Abuse is one of the reporting responsibilities of the nurse. The first step in any child protection response system is the identification of possible incidents of child maltreatment. Nurse Dave is assigned to the cardiac unit caring for four clients. He is preparing to do initial rounds. Which client should the nurse assess first? A client scheduled for cardiac ultrasound this morning. A client with syncope being discharged today. A client with chronic bronchitis on nasal oxygen. A client with diabetic foot ulcer that needs a dressing change. The correct answer is a client with chronic bronchitis on nasal oxygen. A client with airway problems should be attended first. 
When the nurse needs to prioritize patients, Maslow's hierarchy of needs theory is used to decide which patient is to be seen first. A part of Maslow's hierarchy of needs is airway, breathing, and circulation, which are physiological elements that are needed for the body to survive and help determine one's level of health. A nurse enters a room and finds a patient lying face down on the floor and bleeding from a gash in the head. Which action should the nurse perform first? Determine the level of consciousness. Push the call button for help. Turn the client face up to assess. Go out in the hall to get the nursing assistant to stay with the client while. The nurse calls the physician. The correct answer is determine the level of consciousness. Assessing the level of consciousness should be the first action when dealing with clients that might have fallen over. The initial step is to evaluate for reactivity using objective measures. Address the patient verbally, progress to light shaking, then progress to more intense mechanical stimulation. A nurse is working on the night shift with a nursing assistant. The nursing assistant comes to the nurse stating that the other nurse working on the unit is not assessing a client with abdominal pain despite multiple requests. Which of the following actions by the nurse is best? Ask the other nurse if she needs help. Assess the client and let the other nurse know what should be done. Ask the client if he is satisfied with his care. Contact the nursing supervisor to address the situation. The correct answer is. Contact the nursing supervisor to address the situation. The nurse should use a proper channel of communication. The nursing supervisor is responsible for the actions of the different members of the nursing team. Assessment and treatment of pain is often complex. Nurse Connie is reviewing immunizations with the caregiver of a 72-year-old client with a history of cerebrovascular disease. The caregiver learns which immunization is a priority for the client. Hepatitis A vaccine. Lyme's disease vaccine. Hepatitis B vaccine. Pneumococcal vaccine. The correct answer is pneumococcal vaccine. Pneumococcal vaccine is a priority immunization amongst the elderly, especially those with chronic illnesses. It is administered every five, five years. A pneumococcal vaccine is indicated in the United States for all adults 65 years of age and older, as well as younger patients with conditions that increase the risk for developing pneumococcal pneumonia or invasive pneumococcal disease. You are admitting a patient for whom a diagnosis of pulmonary embolism must be ruled out. The patient's history and assessment reveal all of these findings. Which finding supports the diagnosis of pulmonary embolism? The patient was recently in a motor vehicle accident. The patient participated in an aerobic exercise program for six months. The patient gave birth to her youngest child one year ago. The patient was on bed rest for six hours after a diagnostic procedure. The correct answer is. The patient was recently in a motor vehicle accident. Patients who have recently experienced trauma are at risk for deep vein thrombosis and pulmonary embolism. Well, that's it with this video. See you next week for another set of questions. Leave a comment saying how many you got correct.